Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know the power steering switch or sensor is bad and it's time to replace it? The power steering pressure sensor is mounted on the high side of the power steering system and its main purpose is to monitor the pressure in the power steering system. By monitoring the pressure in the power steering system, the computer can determine when to increase engine speed when demand is increased. For example, when you turn your steering wheel left or right, that is demand. So basically, again, when demand is increased, engine speed is increased. The purpose of increasing engine speed is basically to prevent the engine from stalling. Again, when you turn your steering wheel left or right, the engine speed must increase because now the engine must work harder to support the power steering system. When there is an issue with that power steering pressure sensor, usually caused by a faulty diaphragm or spring inside the uh, sensor, this will cause all sorts of issues. The first sign that you know that the power steering pressure sensor is failing is when you are trying to make a left or right turn and your engine suddenly stalls, that's a good sign that the power steering pressure sensor had already failed. If you suspect that there's an issue with the power steering pressure sensor, the first thing you should check is make sure that there is no leak in the power steering system. If there is a leak in the power steering system, especially on the high pressure side, this could definitely prevent the uh, power steering pressure sensor from functioning properly. At this point, it is time to conduct a visual inspection. First thing first, you want to make sure that your power steering fluid is at the correct level. Next, you want to make sure that there are no leaks. If there are leaks, you want to make sure that the fluid is not leaking onto the power steering pressure sensor. Next, you want to make sure the connection is not soaking power steering fluid or the connection is damaged or loose. Next thing you want to do is get yourself a multimeter and set it to voltage. Next, you want to check the voltage on the signal wire on the power steering pressure sensor. So the next thing you want to do is you want to turn the steering wheel left and right. Basically, what you want to do is you want to increase the man. And next thing you want to do is you want to look at the screen on the multimeter. So basically, if you turn your steering wheel left and right, you should see a fluctuation of the voltage on the signal wire. If you see no fluctuation, that means that power steering pressure sensor is faulty and is no longer working properly. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Water Repairs.